Hi, I'm Vice Mayor Richard Carter, representing Ward 1, and you're watching City Council Highlights. Hi folks, welcome to this edition of City Council Highlights. I'm Broken Air City Manager Michael Spurgeon, and here's what happened at the November 1st City Council meeting. On the consent agenda, our fire department received a grant from the Indian Nations Council of Governments to purchase and install idle reduction equipment on one of our ambulances. This will help us cut down on gas usage and reduce emissions, which saves money and helps the environment. Exciting news, more shops are coming to Broken Arrow. The new shopping center will be built near 9th and Kenosha between the PetSmart and the Dick's Sporting Goods. The developer plans to open Michaels, Ross, Ulta, and a Dollar Tree. In other development news, a new subdivision is being planned in South Broken Arrow. The City Council annexed land near Jasper and 23rd Street. We'll keep you posted on future developments regarding this subdivision. Moving on into the agenda, the City Council approved Resolution 995 to express concerns regarding State Question 779 on the November 8th ballot and the instability and insufficiency of current revenue sources available to cities to pay for operations and capital improvements. The resolution encourages the Oklahoma Legislature to explore alternative funding sources for both public education and municipal operations. The city fully supports the Broken Arrow, Union, and Bixby Public School Districts, but the state legislature must find a better way to fund education and local government going forward. That's it for what happened on the agenda at the November 1st meeting. There are a few community updates that I'd like to give you at this time. If you see orange cones along Main Street, it's for Streetscape 4. We're about 20% complete with the whole project. Right now, we're working on Main from Dallas to Fort Worth and starting work on commercial by City Hall. We expect to begin work on the other side of the street around the end of the month or the beginning of December. The Broken Arrow Chamber of Commerce is kicking off their Buy BA campaign. Shoppers at participating location can get tickets for a $10,000 drawing. You can find more information at bachamber.com slash buyba. Remember, when you shop local, you're not only helping local businesses, but you're also helping pay for important city services like public safety and parks. On behalf of the City Council and myself, I'd like to congratulate the Broken Arrow High School Band for winning its 11th Band of America Super Regional title in St. Louis. The pride of Broken Arrow beat out 60 other teams from across the country in this competition. Simply awesome and it's great to be a Tiger. With regard to road projects, the intersection at Aspen and Kenosha is finished and we're now working on the repaving the mile between Kenosha and Houston. That means Aspen will be down to two lanes for that mile. We expect the work to be completed by the end of November and or in early December. The Ray Harrell Nature Center has extended its hours. It will now be open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Ray Harrell is south of Tucson Street between Spring Creek Elementary and Ernest Childers Middle Schools. It's a wonderful nature center that includes a giant aquarium, lizards, a tarantula, and much more to see. Please be sure to visit if you have an opportunity. Finally, if you haven't downloaded it yet, our new Action Center BA app is online. In the three weeks since its launch, we've had almost 200 issues reported to us through the app, and about 80% of those cases have been resolved. You can download the app from the App Store, Google Play, or at actioncenterba.com. One last reminder, November 8th is Election Day. We, of course, have a presidential election, but we also have elections for state, house, state senate, and a number of state questions up for consideration. Early voting for Tulsa and Wagner counties begins November 3rd. Once again, thanks for watching this edition of City Council Highlights. I'm Michael Spurgeon. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you real soon. For the full agenda and video of the City Council meeting, go to BrokenArrowOK.gov. If you have any questions about the items discussed in the video, please call my office at 918-259-8419 or email me at mspurgeon at BrokenArrowOK.gov.